Okay, you guys asked for this, so here we go. In the last video, I talked about how EVs could be dying an early death due to increasing apathy from retail consumers and the effect that's having on the prospects for our biggest automakers. However, some of you moan that there's more to EVs than just Ford and GM. Well, I thought about that for a couple of seconds, and then I decided to give you all another reason why EVs could be on their way out. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you with what could easily be Japan's biggest automaker driving a sizable first nail into the EV's coffin. The absolutely sensational fifth-generation Toyota Prius. Now, I never thought the day would come when I would write a positive word about the Prius. But you know what? That day has finally arrived. In fact, I haven't just got a good word for the incredible new Prius. I've got a load of them. If you've seen my recent video about the BMW XM, you'll know I'm a big fan of hybrid technology. Unfortunately, too many hybrids have leaned too far towards fuel efficiency, and not enough towards performance. Also, many of them are just hybridized versions of existing gas models. And when a manufacturer finally comes up with a hybrid-only model, they tend to be quirky, ugly, and extremely undesirable. Yes, I'm talking about you, first-generation Kia Niro's, Hyundai Ionics, and Honda Insights. I get nauseous just thinking about those three. But unlike those monstrosities, the new Prius has solved every criticism I've ever had about it. But what does this have to do with killing off EVs, I hear you ask? The thing is, as well as solving all the issues hybrids have had in the past, the latest Toyota Prius is also a complete solution to the many issues EVs have in the eyes of most normal consumers. You know, all those things that are putting people off switching to all-electric models, and are also convincing many existing EV drivers to switch back to internal combustion engines and hybrids. For a start, the 2024 Toyota Prius has impeccable green credentials. Do you remember when every Hollywood star who wanted to signal their virtue was driving a Prius? Okay, they had an Escalade round the back of their house in the hills, and they spent a lot of time in private jets and helicopters. But at least, they could be seen in a fuel-efficient, planet-saving Prius for the odd paparazzi shot now and again. This latest Prius is even more efficient than any of its hideous predecessors, but that hasn't come about by sacrificing performance. To be fair, there wasn't much performance to sacrifice with previous Prius incarnations, anyway. The fourth-generation Prius had a hybrid system under its hood that put out a paltry 121 horsepower, but the fifth generation offers a healthy 194 horsepower. And if that's not enough for you, the plug-in hybrid Prius Prime boasts an impressive 220 horsepower. So the new Prius is more efficient and a lot more fun to drive than it ever was before. But we haven't got to the elephant in the room yet. The way this thing looks, I would probably have to refer to an online resource to come up with enough appropriate words to describe just how disgustingly ugly the first four generations of the Prius have been. I mean, just look at them. These are looks that only a mother could love. And even then, she probably have to have been blind into the bargain. By way of complete contrast, the all-new fifth-generation Toyota Prius is nothing short of being an absolute stunner. I'll probably get a lot of flack for saying this, but I think it looks more than a little like a Lamborghini Huracan that's let itself go a little in middle age and started wearing sensible shoes. So it's efficient, powerful enough to enjoy driving it, and it looks pretty sensational. But so are plenty of internal combustion engine and EV rivals. But when you add everything together and include the practicality factor of this excellent addition to today, the car's sleek and aerodynamic design reduces wind resistance and improves performance, as well as making the Prius immensely desirable. It has a spacious and comfortable interior that can accommodate up to five passengers. It has an 11.6-inch touchscreen display that lets you access all the features and functions of the car. It has a wireless charging pad that lets you charge your phone without any cords. It also has a head-up display projecting important information on the windshield, and a smart key system that lets you unlock and start the car with just a touch. The 2023 Toyota Prius Prime is the perfect car for anyone who wants to enjoy the best of both worlds, performance and fuel economy. It is a car that will make you feel good about yourself and the environment. It is a car that will make your friends and family jealous. It is a car that will make you wonder why you ever drove anything else. You may or may not know this, but Toyota isn't keen on full electric vehicle technology. Its previous CEO said several years ago that the future of the industry wasn't electric. And even though the company now makes the V's 4X EV, the majority of its portfolio is gas or hybrid. The company is swimming against the tide on this, 
but it appears to see hydrogen fuel cell and hydrogen combustion technology as the future for itself and the wider industry. Back to the original premise then, the 2024 Toyota Prius doesn't appear to have a weakness. It's practical, efficient, comfortable, enjoyable to drive, extremely stylish, and very desirable. And being a Toyota, it's also likely to be monumentally reliable with extremely strong resale values. How desirable is it? The lease on my current SUV comes to an end in a few months, and I decided to get a new Prius for myself. I decided to forgive Toyota for the atrocities to the auto industry they committed over the last two decades with the previous Prius models and go and get a new Prius. In the end, I decided against it. And that brings me to the only downside to the new Prius, availability. I simply couldn't get knees soon enough as demand is off the scale. At the time of making this video, the current typical waiting time to order and take delivery of a 2024 Toyota Prius in the USA is about four to six months. However, this may vary depending on the model, trim, and location of the order. The Prius Prime, which is the plug-in hybrid version, has an even longer waiting time of around eight months. At a time when EVs are financially crippling traditional automakers, the 2024 Toyota Prius is showing what people really want. Hard-pressed consumers don't want virtue signaling. They don't want forcing to buy new vehicles that are impractical for their needs and often ruinously expensive compares to their fossil fuel-powered equivalents. They don't want to worry about whether they will make it to where they want to go without having to spend hours queuing and recharging. Governments won't like it, and automakers who are almost terminally committed to EVs won't like it either. But the sensational Toyota Prius is what the future of the mass-market auto business should look like. At least for the medium term, anyway. If people power has anything left in its tank, the new Prius should sound the death knell for EVs. At least, until or unless solid-state batteries become a reality with ranges close to or in excess of hybrids. But let me know what you think. Is the new Prius the EV killer I think it should be? Or have I got this all wrong? And by the way, please subscribe to the channel to help me make more of these videos for you more often. It doesn't cost anything. It would be greatly appreciated, and I'll see you on the next one.